Hey guys, I know it's been a while since you've seen me. Uh, I haven't been making a whole lot of videos lately. Well, one, out of disinterest, and two, I just have other priorities going on in my life. But anyway, I read the news yesterday, oh boy, and um, Agalox just uh, broke up. I'm sure you guys know that by now. But I wanted to make this video to discuss my thoughts on them because um, these guys were basically one of the bands... This was basically like my gateway band to uh, black metal music, the same way Opeth was my gateway band to death metal music. I mean, of course I knew about the genres before, but Opeth is what got me immersed into death metal. Agalok is what got me immersed into black metal. So, of course, I have to make a video about this because they've played such an influential role in shaping my musical tastes and, well, the type of music that I make. I make a lot of acoustic work, and Agalok is definitely uh, a key uh, player in, like, the kind of sound that I produce for my music. But anyway, um, I'm still kind of processing this news. I mean, this is all very unexpected. Just, like, a few days ago, I was like, oh, yeah, Agalok doing perfectly a-okay, nothing's going on, they're all just active as usual. But then yesterday, boom, you see the news on Facebook, oh, yeah, we're, we're done now. So, yeah, I'm still kind of processing this right now. I have a bit of a mixed response. I have, like, different feelings in regards to the situation. Um, like, one, uh, for one, I'm I'm a little disheartened because Agalok um, has made some of the best music I've ever heard. You hear classics such as um, The Mantle, which is, of course, my all-time favorite album, period, like ever. And you've got other great works like Pale Folklore, Ashes Against the Grain, The White EP, of, of Stone, Wind, and Pillar EP, Austrian Echoes, Marrow the Spirit, and... Uh, yeah, like, just hearing all those albums, and just, um, when you just see a band like Agalok, like, release those works, and then decide, we're done now, I mean, it is kind of sad but, that we won't hear any more music from them, and, um, I was very fortunate enough to see this band, like, live in concert back in 2013, this was just a year before The Serpents in the Sphere came out, and uh, they were fantastic, and the smell of incense was just really beautiful. And it definitely contributed to a great live experience. That's all I'll say about that. And, um, like, at this point, uh, it's basically like a once-in-a-lifetime experience, because, of course, I've seen them only once, and Agalock doesn't really seem like the kind of band that would do reunions, but we'll wait and see on that. And also, I have another mixed emotion, like, I, I mean, I think this is, this may be for the best, because, uh, I mean, while Serpent in the Sphere wasn't a bad album, I felt like it was a bit of a decline, um, compared to their earlier works, and I think it's best to quit whenever you're basically on, like, a good step, whenever you have your best, uh, foot forward. Because you don't want to be like any of the other bands that just continue to make music like year after year and they just uh, decline and degrade in uh, quality. You know what I mean? So, kind of like Queensryche, who, uh, like, they released great works like Operation Mindcrime and Empire, and then a few years later they uh, just slowly declined with every album release. Although they did have a Shining White Night with Todd Latour. And he kind of saved the day, but I digress. I think you get what I mean, right? <clears throat> I think it's best to, like, end whenever you have nothing but good albums than to just continue to keep on going and you just have more bad albums than good and people just lose their interest. So I think it's best for Agalok to leave right now whenever they have, like, a huge rabid cult following than, for, uh, than whenever... Like, people just lose interest in them because they release bad works, which they haven't, of course, but, yeah, uh, that's what I'm trying to say regarding that. So, anyway, I, I just wanted to say, like, thank you very much, uh, John, Don, Aesop, and the boys. You guys have, 
done a terrific job releasing just a lot of great material and just the great live shows and all that. I mean, you guys are truly one of a kind, and this is going to be a huge void to try to uh, make up in your absence. So I wish you luck in your solo careers or if you are doing like anything else, any other hobbies that have nothing to do with music, I wish you luck in there as well. So that's all I have to say on this matter. Rest in peace, Agaloc, and good luck to all the band members in uh, whatever they do with their lives. So yeah, okay. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care.